Immediately before and after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, NATO countries scrambled to reinforce their eastern allies. This video covers the emergency land force deployments the French army made as a response to Russia's invasion, and it'll give me an excuse to make a correction to one thing I got wrong on the British-led battle group in Estonia. Starting off there, before Russia's invasion, NATO had four enhanced forward presence battle groups in Poland and the Baltic states. Basically multinational battalions that rotate twice a year. Normally, France rotates in and out of the British-led battle group in Estonia. The UK calls its commitment to Estonia Operation Cabrit, while France calls it Mission Lynx. 2021 was a novel year for the French mission. It normally deploys an infantry-dominant company team with only a platoon of tanks. But starting in March 2021, they upped it to two tank platoons to make it an armor-dominant company team. Soldiers from several regiments made three-month rotations to staff these tanks, as opposed to the six-month rotations of the British battle groups. It started with the 12th Cuirassier Regiment, followed by the 501st Tank Regiment, the 1st Chasseurs, and finally the 5th Dragoons. For March 2022, the plan was for the French contingent to be relieved by the Danish Viking Company a mechanized infantry company of the Jutland Dragoon Regiment's 2nd Infantry Battalion mounted on CV-90-35s. They'd be the partner to Britain's One Royal Welsh Battle Group. But in the wake of the invasion, France did an about-face. On short notice, it deployed 200 soldiers from the 3rd Company of the 7th Alpine Chasseur Battalion as the core of a new light infantry company team to reinforce the Brits and Danes. This commitment was relieved relatively quickly in June by that same battalion's 4th company, and that's the unit I listed in the order of battle of NATO's Estonia battle group. But actually, this company was relieved in November 2022 by a company team formed by the 13th Alpine Chasseur Battalion, reinforced by a platoon from the 2nd Foreign Engineering Regiment and four observers from the 93rd Mountain Artillery Regiment. The irregularity of this deployment cycle caused some confusion and is the reason for the error in the first video. The French mountain troops and Danes in Estonia were replaced in March 2023 by the more regular deployment of a company team from the 13th French Foreign Legion Demi Brigade, reinforcing a battle group led by the British Queen's Royal Hussars. But in addition to the pre-existing EFP deployments, the Russian invasion triggered the creation of four additional EFP battle groups to cover NATO's Central Eastern members. The day after the Russian invasion, the North Atlantic Council decided to deploy a battalion-sized tactical group led by France to Romania. These forces were drawn from NATO's Very High Readiness Task Force, or VJTF, which among other sea, air, and land assets included a multinational brigade that France led at the time. This was the task force's first activation since it was created following Russia's 2014 invasion of Ukraine. The initial force to Romania was a battalion task force, or GTIA, led by the French 27th Alpine Chasseur Battalion under Mission Eagle. It included the 27th's Command and Logistics Company, an infantry company from the 126th Infantry Regiment, an observer detachment from the 93rd Mountain Artillery Regiment, a mountain cavalry squadron from the 4th Chasseur Regiment mounted on AMX-10 RCs and VBLs, plus a Belgian company team from the 1st and 3rd Lancers Battalion a mechanized infantry formation mainly mounted on Piranha 3 infantry fighting vehicles. The EFP battle group in Romania also included a Polish infantry company from the 17th Mechanized Brigade, 11th Armored Cavalry Division, mounted on KTO Rosimac APCs, as well as an American striker infantry troop from the 2nd Cavalry Regiment's 2nd Squadron. 2-2 Cavalry had been deployed on short notice in February from their garrison in Germany to Romania in anticipation of the war. In June, the 27th Alpine Chasseurs handed over their core battalion to an element of similar size led by the 8th Parachute Marine Infantry Regiment, 
and in August, the Belgians were replaced by a company of Dutch paratroopers. These paratroopers began to be relieved in October by a new armored task force consisting of the 3rd Infantry Company from the 152nd Infantry Regiment mounted on VBCI infantry fighting vehicles, a Leclerc tank squadron from the 1st Chasseur Regiment, a company from the 3rd Engineer Regiment, an artillery battery, and a command and logistics squadron. In total, this constitutes four deployments of French company teams to Estonia and three deployments of battalion-sized task forces in Romania within a one-year period. If you'd like to learn more about NATO's defense commitments in Eastern Europe, check out this video on the British-led tank battle group in Estonia. We'll see you over there.